well, 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 here we go again, folks. It's that time of year again. Time for gift sharing while love is blaring. Sometimes with all the holiday hustle and bustle, we lose our year-round, otherwise normal, sturdy, and stable grounded structure. We get all disorientated in the already multi-alternative maze that we call our brains. And hell, let's just find my little cherubs. It's okay to get a little astray and let off the beaten, predetermined course created for us by us once in a while now, ain't it? This holiday season, I welcome y'all into my lovely, comfy, cozy abode. Fire's already lit, so stay a while. Kick off them boots and relax to some ginger paper cookies and some cocoa. Maybe a little cider or some eggnog with a splash of something to spike your evening just right. If you are of age and into that sort of thing, grab a blanket or a loved one. Maybe a pillow for that added comfort and limb support and gather around for a Christmas story for the ages. Now this is a holiday classic. Well, let me retrace my steps just a smidge. You see, this is a holiday classic that y'all may think and truly believe in your gargantuan hearts happen the way that you have always been told growing up. Well, let me be the one to pop that rubber band cherry, folks. The story I am talking about, of course, is the story pertaining to that courageous reindeer fellow named Rudolph. The one that gleefully leads jolly old St. Nick's overflowing sleigh with gusto in his trusted familiar illumination. That red nose we all love and appreciate, of course. Well, what if I were to tell you that things with Rudolph the red nosed reindeer happened? Let's just say happened a little differently than that intimate tale we were all taught. For starters, what if I told you that Rudolph's name wasn't even Rudolph? The real story of Rudolph actually pertains to a reindeer named Randolph. Randolph has a nose that shines bright as well, just not red. Randolph's nose was really more in resemblance to that of a Pa 30 CC 7A wedge based daylight shade fluorescent clear mercury vapor bulb. Well, I bet you also didn't know that Randolph the reindeer here was at one time a baker, a plumber, a prostitute, and even an organ donor. You heard me correctly, folks. So let's all get cozy and settle in for a classic Christmas story. The real story of Randolph. The Pa 30 CC7A wedge based daylight shade fluorescent clear mercury vapor bulb nosed reindeer. God, I hate my pathetic existence. What in the hell is the purpose anyways? Life sucks shit and I am stuck as an unwilling participant. Work some dead-end, meaningless, soul-raping job just to support my unappreciative, nagging bitch of a wife who is probably sucking off all of our neighbors that are in earshot. Spending her hard days laying on her back, heels pointed towards the ceiling while some hairy, muscular Polish guy plows a raw dog is my futureless, miscalculated life event, aka my malnourished children, cry hysterically under my bed in desperate need of human contact and a lunchable? Fuck, this job sucks. Where the hell is Randolph? It's five past noon and I have a meeting right after lunch. Oh, shit. Be right over, Mr. Blitzenkrieg. Fat prick. About damn time, dummy. I told you my blood sugar needs its all-natural spike right around noon, and here we are, Randolph. Five past the hour, and my hands are shaking worse than my creepy, alcoholic, abusive uncle. It's four past. Now please tell me you brought me my bacon. Yes, Mr. Blitzenkrieg. Your triple stack of bacon with partially extra crispy edges has arrived. Holy hell, what a sight. Thank you, Randolph. Much appreciated, son. Go uh, buy yourself something nice and the missus a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Gee, Mr. Blitzenkrieg. How thoughtful and generous of you. I can even set some aside for the kids' college education. Oh, and remember, Randolph, this office could never run without the speedy and efficient leadership and guidance that you oh so possess. 
Fucking lose one, an idiot. I bet he has a tiny penis. I would love to just beat the shit out of him. Ew, he's so fucking ugly. Put a bag over his head. Smells like shit, too. Did he just piss himself? I should have married Clement Clark Comet. Now that is a real man right there. Mm, makes me moist just thinking about him. Jesus Christ, Debbie. That's disgusting. I had an awful day at work, and I just need to find a new job. Please, not right now. Oh, fuck you and your work, Randy. You are the office bitch, not even glorified. The little office fuckboy. You are a loser that sucks at every job that you ever had. Seriously, Rand, you just suck at life. Please, Deb, I'm doing my best here. I just need to figure out a good fit for me. Find something for me to do that we can all be proud of. A good fit for you would be in a splintered box six feet under in a fucking ditch buried somewhere in a New Mexico desert. <sighs> Debbie, that isn't necessary in the slightest. Mm, don't you go be telling me what isn't isn't necessary, Randy. Your face isn't fucking necessary. No, that's just ridiculous. You aren't even making sense. What doesn't make sense is why I'm still married to you. My mother was right. Oh, fuck your mother, Debbie. Fuck her straight to hell. The fuck you just said? Yep. Fuck her straight to hell. <laughs> Debbie! You cock sucking piece of dried elephant shit. What in the actual fuck? Now you got the kids upset too. Way to go. Eat my filthy hatchet wound, you lowlife deadbeat son of a bitch. You'll have to peel her apart first. Since I don't ever get any action from you and your flaccid penis anymore, I hate you and your fucking guts. Our kids are crying and need their mother, you vile bitch. I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. There you go again. Go drink away all your sorrows with dawn on your minimum wage, you Fucking bum! I hope you drive drunk and plow antler first into a birch tree. Asshole deadbeat! Yeah, Deb. Me too. So, she really said a birch tree, huh? Interesting. Those aren't even native to the area. Meaning she would want you to travel quite a distance prior to crashing headfirst into a birch tree. Antler first. Huh? Antler first. And that's not the point, man. My life is a complete wreck. My wife and kids despise me. My job is destroying my soul. And I have somehow managed to make it this far into my pathetic life without finding a single thing that I'm good at. Not true, my brother, man. Not true at all. Think of all the previous jobs you had. You were uh, great at all sorts of things before landing this, uh, unfortunate office job. Dude, I have been fired from every job I have ever had. Always something goes wrong. I don't understand, man. Like, why me? What is so wrong with me? Hi. <laughs> Maybe get back into film, man. You were a potential film developing machine. Would be crazy not to hire you. Bro, I was fired on my first day. Would be cool if your nose was red. <laughs> right, 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 right. Well, forget that. I hear film developers are a dying breed anyways. What about something less uh, conventional? Like a mortician or a taxidermist. I've traveled that road. Many times. Remember when I tried to be a drug dealer? I feel that that bad. Developed a monster smack addiction. In that period of time I lived in the Northeast and tried to sell my fragile body as a lady of the night, My guy, how much for a blowy, dude? You got 20 bucks, US or Canadian? I can make it worth your while. 
If you're working with rupees, we would have to negotiate. Hop in, princess. I ended up contracting herpes and spread it rampantly throughout the greater lower Boston area, man. I had to relocate my family and still occasionally receive death threats to this day. They seem to really ramp up around the holidays for whatever reason. Get your ass over here, selfie you bitch ass motherfucker! Wicked fucking dead I'm kid! I'm gonna break all your legs and sodomize you, my guy! Mm, fuck him up! Faggot gave me the herbs! TB12 is the goat, you faggot ass pussy bitch! Tommy B12, ow, ow! What a fucking ripper, my guy! Yeah, <laughs> Boston is a different beast, man. <laughs> Glad you decided to move and start fresh. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Don. How many times do I have to start fresh just to find some sort of meaning or purpose? Hell, just to find something I'm needed for. To be useful and get a genuine thanks for a job well done. I'm just over it, man. Last call, boys. Call over if you guys need anything. Thanks, Candy. You're such a sweetheart. <laughs> Tell that to my husband. Hey, Randolph. What about the rail yard? They always need help. Especially train operators around this time of year. It says you could start ASAP. Hell, it's only a few blocks away. What do you say, buddy? Grab one last drink for the road, then get over and get yourself a job as an operator of a train. What do I have to lose, man? Fuck it. I'm sure I'll find a way to mess things up, but I'm fresh out of options here. Great attitude, Randolph. I'll order us drinks and grab our jackets. It's quite chilly out there and that nasty storm is supposed to roll through later tonight. Some would say that it's not fit for man or beast out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, whatever, man. Sounds good. So you can start tonight? Mort here will guide you and show you all that you need to know to drive one of these locomotives with ease. Isn't that right, Mort? More. <laughs> you know it, boss! Holy hell. Great. It's settled then. Welcome to the team, Rudolph. My name is Randolph. Right, right, right. I'm sure I will never forget your name again, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm rather forgettable. Trust me. Well, let's get you gentlemen loaded up and ready to go. This is one bad storm rolling in and we want to outrun it before it arrives by morning. Solid Raj, boss. I'll get the new guy up to snuff in no time. Oh, I'm sure you will. I never doubt you, Mort. Safe travels, gentlemen. And Mort... Don't forget your medication. So, welcome aboard. Name is Randolph. It's a pleasure to meet you, Randolph. It's great to have company on these long trips, and I'm always honored to pass on my 45 years of locomotive knowledge. Wow, 45 years, huh? Must have seen it all. Not too much surprises me on the tracks these days, my boy. Very few things around here get me running around like a dog with two dicks, know what I mean? Sorta. I'm just blown away you found something in life to do that you are good enough at, and then to be able to apply that to something and do it for so long. It's fascinating, really. Storm is rolling in faster than expected. The skies look pissed. I'm listening to you, Randolph. This never really looked at it like that before. I guess accumulated time isn't a factor in any of this, really. All it takes is a second, right? A second for what? 
A second to realize you found your calling, so to speak. The instant I sat on my pop's lap in a conductor's chair similar to these, just less give. <laughs> I was 23, and I just knew. I knew wherever my life took me, that it would be through these here railroads. The ones that brilliantly web all over the country. One second is all I needed. The 45 years is a blessing, not the reason. What if you never found the rails? Do you know what you would want to do in life? Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. You a wolf or a raven, Randolph? Neither. I am a reindeer. Well, in this case, you could be either. The point is, if you are a wolf, then you go for it. You go get at it. Don't stop until you achieve. If you are a raven, however, there isn't a damn thing wrong with that neither. Opportunist. There when opportunity strikes. Might take a little luck and help from others. But nonetheless, always find your way and just as well fed. Huh. Damn, Mort. Guess I'm sort of speechless. Happy holidays to that. Just hit the green button. It brings us up to speed. The red button stops the train. Other than that, we just kind of leave it up to the tech behind the autopilot. We call him Dave. You ready to roll? I mean, so just hit the green button and we are off? thought it was way more involved than that. Nope. Not really. All right, then. Let's, um, take off. Wow, the storm is really raging out there. How large is this storm system, Mort? Hey, Mort. You sleeping again? Um, holy shit. Holy shit. Mort? Mort? Dude, get up. It's getting really hard to see out there. Mort? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Mort is dead. Mort is absolutely dead. I, uh... I didn't think his medication was that important. Wait, no, 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 no. Not the front light. No. There are families aboard. Lives to be lived and stories to be made. I have to get control of this train. Warning. So, Warning. red button to initiate the brakes. Just like Mort's intensive training taught me. The front light is out. Just press and hold red button for like at least a few minutes to initiate brake fail safe system. Thank you for your immediate patience and cooperation. Dude! What in the actual fuck? Warning. What kind of system is Warning. this? And yeah, no shit Warning. the light's out. Warning. I have to get out there and use my nose to light the train into the next station before we crash. Warning. Shit. Is out. What do I do? Warning. Warning. The front light is out. So am I a wolf? Shit. What was Mort saying about the ravens again? I gotta no think of something here. Is out. Wait a minute. Warning. Dawn is right. Warning. I was good at my previous jobs. In one way or another. I mean, I can't actually think of in what ways at the moment. But still, they just weren't satisfying experiences. Left my soul unfed. I think I know what Mort was talking about now. I can be whatever I want to be. A wolf? Or a raven? Hell... A reindeer, even. Doesn't really matter as long as you are fulfilling the needs from within. 
I'm rotting away like a bag of hooved animal shit on the inside. I can only imagine what I'm portraying on the outside. Christ. I'm sorry, Debbie. Morning. I never Morning. meant to talk down to you. The front light is I'm just out. embarrassed. I'm not as successful as people like Clement Clark Comet. Asshole. But none of that matters now. Morning. I have a train Morning. full of passengers to save. Let's do this, Mort! I guess this would be a great time to chime in. Look at Randolph. A man. Wolf. Raven. Reindeer. A soul on a mission. Nothing is going to stop Randolph from lighting the safe way home for all those lovely people. Wants a plumber, baker, candle maker, a loving father, caring friend, devoted husband, at one time in life even a drug dealer and lady of the night. Little did Randolph know, regardless of how meaningless the life skills he was acquiring seemed to be at the time, those were all untapped building blocks for later successes. What the fuck is that raven doing? It's climbing towards the front of the train. That is most certainly a wolf, and I think it's going to fix the front light. Are we about to crash? Y'all stupid as hell. That there's a reindeer and it's going to light the way with its shiny nose. No, wow. It is lighting the way. That must be a par 30 CC 7A wedge based daylight shade fluorescent clear mercury vapor bulb. Well, I should do the trick. Go and save the day, buddy. With a little bit of luck and a lot of bit of heart, Randolph made his way to the front of this barrel ass and locomotive just in the nick of time to light and lead the way into the next town. The day and the pleasant folk of this journey were saved, all in one pace, all with a new hero. Wow, Randolph, you saved our lives. Most importantly, mine. I am just glad I could help. And for once, this shiny bright nose came to some good use. No! Seriously, man! You are my Fucking hero, bro! Horns, brother! Hero? Seriously, guys. I'm just happy we're all safe and sound for the holidays. I have to go call my wife now and let her know what happened on this crazy night. And just to thank her. Tell her how much I love her and how much that I do appreciate her oftentimes misguided but still in good faith life advice. Thank you, everyone. This man needs a statue! I'm speechless, guys. Really, the least I could do. I want to have your babies! Uh, I am married, but that is awfully nice of you. This story will live forever. How oh, Randolph the reindeer saved the day and made the holiday season oh so special. My stomach is just tingling. Y'all stupid. Wait, wait, wait. I thought he was a wolf. A raven, stupid. A hero, really? Actually, guys, just Randolph. I am Randolph, and it feels good. Well, well, well. There you have it, folks. The real story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Or shall I say, Randolph, the Pa 30 CC 7A wedge based daylight shade fluorescent clear mercury vapor ball nosed reindeer. <laughs> oh, what a hoot. I had such a lovely time, and I hope you did as well. That city did go on to celebrate Randolph for years to come. What happened to Randolph, you ask? Randolph continued to work as a train conductor on that same railroad he saved on his very first night on the job. In a sense, help carry on the legacy and knowledge of Mark. 
He worked there happy as a page for years and years until he retired and settled down in Albuquerque, New Mexico, U.S. of A. Him and Debbie got marriage counseling and realized that their deep-seated anger and hatred towards one another was nothing more than misguided missiles of just bad energy, man. The anger and the hate that they felt for themselves boiled over and spilled and charred each other. And for what? Ultimately, without even realizing it at the time, fuel for a new fire to burn. One fueled by passion and pure love. That good energy, man. Those misguided missiles are now rocket ships shooting past all the stars. This holiday season... Through all that hustle and bustle, take a moment not only for your loved ones, but for yourself. Look deep down and realize how much you are cherished and how much you are loved. This time of year really does help to showcase that, folks. Take an extra moment to look deep down into the proud eyes of all your talents, your dreams, all that you bring into this world. Hell, we could all turn to a Randolph once in a while. And the best part is, we can whenever we want to. With that being said, thank you so very much. I will end with a quote from a very wise and brilliant scholar of the arts. Till next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Happy holidays. Christmas time is Randolph. He is the star, guiding us with light and laughter, a role model for us all. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow.